welcome back to Let's Get Real with Marissa. And as you can see, I'm kind of in a new position. Um, usually I'm always in front of my window, but I decided to kind of change it up a little bit so you guys can see my new LED lights on my TV and you guys get this cozy feeling as we approach into this video on fall room decor. Also, I want to introduce you guys to my new falling series named Falling with Marissa. As we approach into this season that is filled with warm, cozy hugs and sweaters and crisp air, I thought it would only be appropriate to devote my videos to this beautiful season that's going to be coming very, very shortly. So I'm going to be showing you guys some DIYs, recipes, and anything that you could possibly think of that would be fall related. So without further ado, let's get right into this room tour. So the first project I'm going to be showing you guys is these DIY lanterns that I placed on my DIY bookshelf. What's really cool about these lanterns is that they really are beautiful, they make your room look so cozy, and they're totally inexpensive. And the best part is you could get some of your materials at your local craft store, such as some twine, spray glue, a mason jar, a tea lit light, and some glitter that is appropriate for the season. So to make this light, all you have to do is fill it up with some glue, add some glitter, shake it up, let it dry for a little while, and then throw in a really nice tea light and wrap it around with some twine to give that fall look. The finished result is absolutely beautiful. All you do is just place it on a shelf. So the next DIY I'm going to be sharing with you guys is this really pretty fall garland that I made out of some fake leaves, twine, and some glitter. I put it on my bedpost and it really is gorgeous. All you're going to need, like I said, is some twine, some fake leaves, a hole punch, and some spray glitter paint that I purchased at my local craft store. All you're going to do with these things is put some holes through the leaves, pull the twine through, Spray it with some glitter and hang it on a piece of furniture that you think is lacking in the fall area. The results are absolutely gorgeous and it gives your room such a fall look. So fall candles and throwing some fall knickknacks around is an absolute must to give your room that fallish vibe. And last but not least, what is a room without a fireplace? So I like to turn on my TV and cozy up by the fire. All right, guys, that's it for this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed. And if you decide to replicate these DIYs at home, please be sure if you do post them to hashtag Falling with Marissa on Twitter or Instagram or even Facebook so I could see your version of the DIYs that I replicated. Um, please be sure to comment, like, and subscribe to my videos and my channel. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.